We are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. I need to clarify something that we talked about in the last segment. We gave a phone number. We gave one phone number on the air, and we showed another number on the bottom of your screen. Well, the one we gave on the air was actually the correct number. So if you want to get registered for that basketball camp, the number is 412-600-5129. And, of course, you know, we're always online at kdka.com. So if you need to get that number again, just log on to the website, kdka.com. That said... We're changing gears again. Now we're going on stage with the Legacy Arts Project. And what an amazing year this is going to be. Aaron Perry and Ira Cambrick is with us yeah. to talk about what's in store. Welcome back. Yes, thank you. Welcome back to you. First yes. time for you. Yes, thank you for having us. All right, so this is an annual event. Yes. Yeah, so this is actually our sixth year wow. hosting the event. Mm -hmm. And the event itself started 40 years ago in Brooklyn, New York with the founder, Baba Chuck Davis. Mm -hmm. And he had the idea of bringing people together to celebrate dance of the African diaspora, mm -hmm. to be able to show the resilience, the beauty, the majesty of African cultures throughout the world. So he began to bring people together to show just how spectacular dance can be in honoring the continent of Africa. So in 2010 was the first time that he actually came to Pittsburgh right, to and, do Dance Africa with us. And he us. did appear one year on this show, yes, like did. a year or two ago. Yep, yeah. in 2015 mm -hmm. we okay. came together. Yes. So I definitely want to say thank you for bringing us on to speak about the event because it is such a momentous time, in, not only in Pittsburgh, but in New York and also the world, to be able to celebrate dance. Right. As we use movement as a form of healing, as a form of of love, of communication. And one of the things that Baba Chuck talked about was love, peace, respect for everyone. Hmm. And so Dance Africa was a platform to be able to share that with everyone. And we should point out now, he died about May 14th, I was which say, was Mother's say, Day. Wow. He passed on Mother's okay. Day. And how old was he, do you know? 80. 80 years 80 old. 80 years old. Uh, what an amazing talent. Now, Ira, you're a choreographer. Yes. Give me an idea. How did he inspire you? Well, Baba Chuck has been dancing and moving and touching lives for years now. As a youth, I ran into um, Baba Chuck in different areas mm -hmm. of African movement. Um, then I was just focusing on contemporary. Okay. And that brought me back to the roots of how to be grounded and it not be so technical in a sense of mm. body placement, mm -hmm. but being able to free yourself, to mind, feel body, it. as well yeah. as spirit. Mm -hmm. So it didn't have limitations. And his love didn't mm -hmm. come with limitations. So his teaching of movement mm -hmm. and love and peace and harmony is basically what brought me out of a shell, per se, um, to allow me to transcend, mm -hmm. if you will, um, beyond just movement. To evolve. Yes. So this year's event is July 21st. Yes, it's 21st, 22nd, and 23rd mm -hmm. at the Kelly Strayhorn Theater. Okay. We're partnering with them to bring this year's event. And we have three days full of activity. The first two days, which are the 21st and 22nd, will feature two out-of-town guests one you see on the screen, which is a, a Aifutai, mm -hmm. a Haitian ensemble. And so it's a, a woman from Haiti who has moved yeah. to the U.S. And she's coming with a small group to Pittsburgh, as well as another group called Oyu Oru. And they are an Afro-Cuban group. Okay. And so as a Cuban woman who has come to the U.S. and lives in New York and created a company here and has been able to really maintain the traditions of Cuban dance mm -hmm. through her company. And so she'll be coming as well and then we'll also have performances from local groups which will be the legacy arts project the stacy pearl dance project and then also a, a female ensemble music ensemble called abba Fazi. now i want to follow up with you on a couple things but i want to ask you first now are is the legacy arts project dance ensemble performing something that you choreographed that is correct okay tell yes. us about that well, I had the opportunity to meet the Legacy Arts Dance Project through Stacy Pearl. Mm -hmm. And then I was asked by Aaron to uh, collaborate as far as choreography. And I've already had a piece that I wanted to bring to life mm, okay. that spoke of not his story, but our story and how it's not from slavery to where we are now. It's from our ancestors showing us that we are kings and queens, mm. that we are more than what has happened to us here. And my piece 
basically speaks to that. It takes you through what has happened mm. when we were captured and asks, are we really free? Oh, okay. Just All because right. we're no longer bound and chained physically. Right, yeah. Free does is that a different torture process. torture yeah. and, and trauma still reside in us? Okay. Before I ask my follow-up questions, let's talk about how folks can get tickets. I don't want to run out of time before yes. we do that. So tickets are available online through the Legacy Arts website, mm -hmm. which is LegacyArtsProject.org, mm -hmm. and can also be bought physically through the Ujima Collective Boutique on the on Hill. Center on Avenue. Center mm -hmm. Avenue in the Hill. Yes. Okay. And I'm guessing you want folks to get their tickets ahead of time. Yes, we yeah. would love for folks to get their tickets ahead of time. Last year, we actually sold out. Oh, so awesome. there were we love several, sellouts. Yes, we yeah. love sellouts. There were several people who literally got turned away at the door. And so we don't want that to happen. And that's why this year we do have three shows. Our Sunday show actually features all Pittsburgh artists. Mm. And so we'll be showing the work of a lot of younger people um, in the city. And just to make sure that we, although we bring in guest artists from out of town, that we know that we have so much talent and creativity that's here that we want to be able to, to show as well. Absolutely. Okay, we have a minute left. Ira, I'm going to give that to you. What will people walk away from this weekend feeling? Hopefully what they'll walk away with from this weekend is a sense of empowerment, not just for themselves, but as far as community, knowing that there is something beyond themselves that they can reach out and, and plug into. Mm -hmm. um, that just because the youth are young, that we cannot learn from the past or let the youth teach us how to move forward in the future. Um, just peace, love, and harmony. Peace, and love, and harmony. respect and live, love, and let live and love. All right, that's a perfect place for us to end. Thanks so much thank for coming you, by. Thank Sounds you. like an awesome weekend. Yes, thank you very much. We're going to take a commercial break. I know we've talked about a lot today, so we'll wrap it all up in just a minute when the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show continues.